Yeah, here on the D9Sports.com football preview show, brought to you by Lezard Lumber. For all your building needs, check out Lezard Lumber at www.lezardlumber.com. Here with Brookville and head coach Scott Park. Scott, why don't you introduce the guys you have with you? Right here on my right, we have our starting quarterback, uh, Jack Krug. He's a junior uh, this year. Uh, so that's a good thing. To my far left is Ian Thrush. He's a senior wide receiver. And then we have number 53 there, Elliot Park, who is a center in DN Force, and he's a junior. Um, I'm, I'm sure that seeing Jack standing upright with a good shoulder is uh, the, the first part of the, the good news for you right now. It's, yeah, it's been a good <laughs> spring and summer. It's been good, you know, he's really successful there in track and stuff. And then with the 7-on-7s, seven he's looked pretty good. And, and he's gone to a couple prospect camps as well. So uh, I'm happy where he's at, and it's always good to have him healthy. You know, a little bit of a change with the coaching staff, uh, you know, but should we expect a lot of the same from the offense? You still, I mean, obviously with Jack being a quarterback and, you know, guys like Ian, there's there's still a lot of, um, you know, good talent there. It's, it's the same offense, uh, a little bit different. More formations, I guess, is the best way to put it. And uh, so, I mean, they're not going to see much difference than what we did in the last two years. And then defensively, what do you guys need to do on defense to be successful? Uh, well, I think I think on both sides of the ball, we got to stay healthy. Uh, defensively, we're pretty excited about it. On the defensive side of the ball, we have eight starters returning. All, our, all five of our defensive linemen are coming back. Uh, so we're feeling pretty confident there. Uh, and I know our defensive coordinator always takes a wrap, but our defense is on the field more than anybody else because of the type of offense we play. So a lot of times our, our stats may not be what everybody else's are, but I think uh, Coach Noska does a good job game planning and stuff. We just got to execute a little bit better. Jack, you know, obviously I know last year was frustrating for you being on the sideline as much as you were when you wanted to be on the field. But what were you able to take from being on the sideline? Were you able to watch the game maybe in a little bit of a different way and maybe learn some things because of that? Um, yeah, I think in a way. Um, I kind of like just really thought about like how I can't take stuff for granted most of the time. I don't think I was really like – uh, really too engaged with the game. I mean, obviously I was happy for my teammates and like, like when we would, would win a game, but um, I don't know, it's just more me sitting back and just kind of like realizing like I can't be taking this stuff for granted. Um, Elliot, you know, everybody looks at the numbers that whether it was Robert last year, Jack two years ago, and even Jack last year at the beginning of the season put up. But, you know, that really starts with what you guys do up front. And just talk about how important it is for in an offense like you guys run for the offensive linemen to all be on the same page. Uh, yeah, it's very important because, uh, you know, we got to got to start with the uh, starts with us and we got to we want the rest of the team to do well and get the stats they want. We got to do our well. So, uh, yeah, we talk a lot. Uh, we're always basically always on the same page. And uh, to us, we're, we're playing football, but we're the offensive line. We're like family and we enjoy it and we like doing it with each other. And uh, yeah, we're just we just like to play the game and that's what we do. Um, and, you know, so much success that you've had in so many different sports. Um, but, you know, the speed that you bring to the table in a football game, uh, how do you utilize that and how do you work that into football? Uh, I mean, like, after I get my hands on the ball, I just, like, pretty much try to do something with it. The most important part for me is catching it. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, should we expect a bigger role from you, e even than we've seen in the past, considering that, you know, maybe some guys that people are used to seeing with the football are no longer here? Uh, yeah, I think maybe. I'd say, like, I'm one of the most experienced receivers, like, <laughs> this upcoming year with, like, losing Brian and Cabe. And so, I mean, it's going to be, like, I'm going to try to be, like, more of a leader, kind of, and, like, hopefully I can, like, rub up on some people, like, just try to stay positive and just do good. I'm going to ask you guys uh, all the same question. I'm going to start with you, Ian. Somebody who wasn't around the Brookville football program comes into your locker room and spends a couple days. What would they be most surprised to find out? Uh, I wasn't really sure how to answer that question. <laughs> we'll give you, have Elliot a shot at it. Uh, I think they'd be most surprised about probably our team chemistry because uh, once we step outside the locker room, we're – we're not all on the same page. We're like we all get along, but we're not, you know, we're not all hanging out 24/7 and doing stuff. But as soon as we step in that locker room, everything sets aside to where they're to play football and where the team and the family in that locker room and on the field. So I think they'd be surprised on how everybody understands that and how we all cooperate with that motto. Jack, um, I think it's our more like our personality-wise. I think we're all like more like a laid-back team. Um, obviously, when we get on the football field, it's a completely different question. But um, 
I think like within the locker room, outside of the locker room, we're just all laid back, just kind of fun kids to be around and stuff like that. So. Scott, you guys have been, you know, so close to maybe getting to that ultimate prize of a district title. What is it that you guys need to do to take that next step? Well, we got to be stay healthy. <laughs> I mean, I think that's, you know, I think that was definitely last year. I mean, it was that might have been one of the best teams I've ever had as as a coach, you know. And but I've never had a team that was uh, hit with the injury bug like that last year. Uh, I feel confident with the guys we have coming up, uh, what we have. Uh, we've been blessed. I mean, I, I got to say, I mean, I've been blessed the last three years with the, with the talent and the numbers and the athleticism and, and stuff. So uh, I just think we got to keep working on that, stay healthy. Uh, offensively, we need to find a running back that's going to be able to be a consistent running back for us and stuff. But I feel pretty confident that if we get – Going here in the preseason, we get some of these younger receivers and stuff catching the ball. I, I think we'll be able to get that. Well, guys, thanks for joining us on the D9Sports.com preseason football show brought to you by Lezard Lumber. Once again, check out Lezard Lumber at www.lezardlumber.com.